yes hello guys we're going to have our analysis on xdc all right so looking at xdc let me go in for our brush tool looking at xdc the stops here that were cleared but this is a double bottom here yeah your stop share that will clear so once anytime the market wants to go up they will take out which will uh, traders who are already in the market before they move to the opposite direction or the internet direction so clearing this does give us clues that market makers want to move higher all right so if we look at the market this where this where this is a double bottom here you realize these lows are on the same level so obviously traders have their stop losses below here below these levels so market makers will usually come and clear those stops before they actually move uh, higher so is the is the opposite way if they want to move if they want to move lower uh, if they want to move lower usually the 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 double bottom or the double top will be around this level they clear it and then quickly move lower so in this case this is our double bottom with our stop losses line below here so what the market did market did was they quickly cleared it with a very big candlestick taking out uh, traders who are already higher uh, long on these on, on these positions with their stop losses lying below they take them out before they actually go to the internet direction so on the weekly uh i think xdc is more bullish compared to being bearish that's what i think on xdc so what do we see here let's go on let's go on to get more clues why i say xdc is more bullish compared to xlm or, or repo so this particular green candle was our, our other block so what happened when the market went in it with this particular uh, candle you will find out that this particular green candle it didn't close above the other block it didn't close above it, the body of the other block but it actually the work you the, the work uh, violated it but it didn't close above it so and if this gives us a clue that uh, the market still want to go up because this other block has been violated it was if we had retested it successfully without violating it then the market would have uh, gone down more but in this case the market the the candlestick actually violated it with a wick so it gives us a clue that the market wants to go up or higher so what they will usually do is to do a fake bear like a fake drop before they actually move higher yes so from indication for more indication i think xdc wants to move higher and we can see it on the you can see it here that the market actually retested our 50 moving average it successfully rested and rested on it and they moved higher so if there should be any pump let's draw our other block here this is another other block so if the market gets to this level that will be fine because any drop down is a fix is, is, is a fake drop to trade retail traders before the market actually moves higher yeah in case in case at the moment SDC is bullish 
but in case the market violates this level this particular order block here let me change the color here let me change the color to red or pink here so in case the market violates this account below this level then we would like to see lower prices for HTC but as it stands now I think HDC is more bullish than being bearish right if, it, if the market violates this level then we are likely to see lower prices before any major movement higher but as it stands now I think XDC is more bullish to being bearish yeah so what I think is is going to have a fake drop and then move higher and move higher mind you this is a possible double uh, top here that has been formed so if the market should move higher or low move lower here we are likely to see the market taking out the above stops here yes taking out the above stops here so this is what i think this is not financial advice but i think uh, xdc is more bullish compared to being bearish the market will only turn bearish if this red particular uh, other block is violated but it's more bullish to bearish assistance now all right this is not financial advice if you have not subscribed to our channel can you do so and thank you very much for staying have a nice day okay and before i go let me get, let me first let me have another clue give us another clue this was lower low here uh, and then on the rsi it was a higher low see so the divergence were confirmed here so with these confluences i believe sdc is more bullish compared to being bearish thank you very much for staying if you have been subscribed to our channel you can do so uh, and then uh, if you want to support our channel with with crypto with uh, bnb or xtc you can request for my address and i'll kindly i will happily give it to you for you to support the channel thank you very much for staying